Hey, what's up guys? This is Hardy with Ninja Every Day. I'm excited to be going out. I'm gonna go out the night before uh, the actual Mountain Quest seminar begins just so I can get out in the woods and test out some gear. I've got a couple of pieces of gear I'm gonna try out on this trip. I've got my Eberly Stock X1A2 pack. It's more of a hunting day pack and I use it a lot when I'm hunting, but I uh, rigged some stuff up so that I could try to use it as a quick overnight bag. I've got the Everly Stock Nose Gunner, and um, normally that's used to hold a pair of binoculars for hunting, but I'm gonna try to do some fly fishing while I'm out here, and I'm gonna use it as my uh, fly fishing chest pouch, and it's also helping me carry some of my gear as I hike in. So, so far, some thoughts on the Everly stock. The uh, X1A2 pack has not shifted or moved or anything. It's been great and been very um, comfortable and secure. And uh, But I knew it was going to be because it always is when I'm using it when I'm hunting. I've got it loaded up with a little bit more weight than I normally use. Um, the nose gunner is staying nice and secure in the front. The thing I do notice about it, it has these magnetic closures and the uh, the closures themselves do a good job of keeping things quiet but it's not necessarily the most um, secure I've leaned and had it just pop open you see it just kind of pops open here so I actually have to be kind of careful to make sure I don't bump it or hang on it the other thing with it the nose gunner is uh, have a has a built-in holster which is a great feature um, when I'm hunting and moving around. I do like to have a handgun just in case. I'm on public land a lot and um, you never know, right? But carrying a backpack and all the other stuff, having a gun on my hip is just another thing. If I'm gonna have my binos on or gonna have my binoculars with me, I'm probably gonna be wearing the nose gunner and I can stick a small pistol, even a full-size pistol into the holster built into the back. And it's a uh, neat system. This, uh, this trip I'm bringing my car CW9 uh, with me out here but what I did notice is when I bent over and leaned forward the gun slid free now I have a uh, tether style trigger guard cover holster on it that kept it from coming all the way out but just as a uh, an aside if you're using this as a holster I would have some sort of cover over those uh over the trigger guard of your handgun just in case it doesn't slide free to be able to accept all of these guns it has to be kind of a a wider holster kind of a looser holster and you want to make sure that um your gun's secure just in case all right so here's kind of a look at my setup right now Obviously, I've got the shelter hat uh, providing sun protection, really rain protection today. This is my Everly Stock X1A2 hat. I have a fanny pack that I like to wear kind of strapped around it, just give me some extra um, carrying capacity. I can actually wear that on in front, but today I'm also wearing this Everly Stock nose gunner pouch so this pouch is great for holding your binoculars you can reach right in and pull those out i've got some miscellaneous gear stuff i want to keep close at hand in here now the other benefit of this is that it is a holster so you can pull and deploy a firearm from this holster it does not secure the firearm excellent by itself so i have a trigger guard holster that I use to keep the trigger covered and then it slides back behind the holster this way and sits in. So again, this is the Everly Stock Nose Gunner. It has its own strap system that I put on first and then put my pack on over top of it. Another feature I really like about the pack is that it has a built-in scabbard. In here, you can place a full uh, hunting rifle or shotgun long gun 
and it drops all the way out of the bottom. And I've used it for that. This place that's holding my shoes here, my sandals, actually is a spot to hang, uh, is a bow bucket. So if you're a bow hunter, you can carry your bow. What I'm using it for this trip is actually to carry my fishing rod. So I've got my Tinkara fishing rod tucked in the rifle scabbard and it worked perfectly. So I can carry all of my gear together. This is what the X1A2 looks like by itself. Now again, in my experience hunting, this has been a fantastic pack. Uh, it holds enough gear to get up to the stand and keep me comfortable all day. But um, it was a little tight packing for a light overnight. And it's not that the bag itself is that small, it's that it feels so overbuilt that it's like the inside's almost cushioned for sensitive gear or camera gear. So there, it's just, each of the walls feel very thick. So it feels like I just can't quite get as much stuff in there as I need. I did get everything in there I need, but it was just tight. Now these two top pockets are very easy to fill if the inside uh, compartment is empty. And the inside compartment is easy to fill if these are empty. But once they're both full, then it is kind of a job getting it zipped. Uh, so you just have to be careful not to push beyond the limits of your pack. The water bottle pockets are positioned very well. But again, what I do is I put my water bottles in first before I start packing just to make sure that I can get stuff in and out. If I pull this water out, you can see how tight it is, right? If I pull it out and then go to put this back in, it does not just slide back in easily. Uh, it takes two hands and it's hard to use two hands and hold the camera. So again, I don't think that's a function of the pack. I think that's me trying to put too much stuff in the pack. I just like the pack so much. It just feels so heavy duty that um, it's the pack that I want to use most of the time. So this is it. This is the pile of gear that came out of this little fanny pack and this Everly Stock X1A2 bag and this nose gunner chest pouch. All right, guys. So here's what I mean about this bag being overbuilt. It's super, super heavy duty, very thick material. Uh, I have no worries about this sort of thing tearing. It's got this uh, sleeve on the inside and it's got this shelf that sits up and closes off these two compartments. So I can close off this top compartment or I can drop it up or drop it down and access it through this bottom zipper. For this piece, I almost wish I could just take it out because it takes up some pretty valuable real estate once I'm trying to pack the bag. But again, I love this bag. If I was gonna carry a, um, a camera or something that um, could not get damaged or beat up, this uh, Everly Stock X1A2 would be an excellent choice as a uh, sensitive equipment carry bag as well as a great hunting pack. So in review, I'd like to give the Everly Stock X1A2 and the Nose Gunner a thumbs up. The X1A2 is a very overbuilt, super heavy duty, excellent hunting pack big day pack and the nose gunner is a great system for carrying a backup firearm as well as your binoculars into the woods hey so i didn't get to film nearly the amount of stuff that i was planning on filming while i was down there because we had a bunch of rain come in and it just made it tricky to do everything so that just means we get to do another camp out, which is good. But thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you did get to see. And we'll see you on the mat, or we'll see you on the mountain. Peace.